Hi, my name is James Davis, the founder and CEO of upad.co.uk, and today we are joined by Ray Bulger from John Charcoal Mortgages. Ray, good day to you. Good day. Um, what we wanted to talk about today uh, that we thought would be useful uh, is, is just ways that as landlords we can uh, make our financing costs cheaper. So from your perspective, Ray, if somebody's looking to remortgage, what would be the three things they should look out for to try and minimise the cost of that finance? Uh, well, first of all, speak to a good independent mortgage broker, of course. Um, and uh, if you're doing a remortgage, then you need to think about product transfers as well. So when people are coming to the end of their current deal, yes. essentially they have two options. They can either do what we call a product transfer, which means you stay with the same lender, don't change anything in terms of the amount or the term, and you simply take another deal or you remortgage, i.e. change lenders, in which case you have an opportunity to also change the amount and, and the term if you want to. Yeah. Now, the way rates have changed over the last few years means that nearly everybody who is coming to the end of the fixed rate deal today and is refinancing is going to have access to cheaper rates. Yeah. So the key thing to think about is, are you going to keep the property long term? Yeah. Um, and assuming you are, do you want a long term fix or a short term fix? If you don't plan to keep it long term, obviously you either need a short term fix or perhaps a variable rate deal, maybe a tracker or a discount mortgage that has no early repayment charges. So, so you need to do some prep work before you go out to understand what you want to do? Well, I think most landlords will actually know what they plan to do. So those are the sort of questions their broker is going to ask them because for the broker to give the right advice, yeah. they need that sort of information. Yeah, and it's always looking out for all those fees as well because especially if you're going to a new lender, all those fees can add up rather than just chasing uh, the, the rate, I guess. Well, there will be more fees if you go to a new lender, absolutely. Some lenders will give you a free valuation and maybe even free legal fees, although yeah. that's less common in the buy-to-let market than in the residential market. But you will have an arrangement fee to pay whether you do a product transfer yeah. or a remortgage. Where one needs to look at the costs will be, is the size of your mortgage quite large? In which case, paying an arrangement fee in order to get a cheaper rate will normally be worthwhile. Yeah, yeah. If on the other hand your mortgage is say less than 100,000, yeah. you're probably better off going for a deal that's either got no fee or a very low fee, even though the interest rate will be higher. But again, that's the sort of calculation your broker will do Some for you. Some really useful top tips there. Thank you very much, Ray. Um, hopefully everyone found that useful. Uh, my name is James from UPAD. Look forward to seeing you on other videos later.